Wow. Were you a chef in another life? I just, I don't understand. I feel like it was yesterday my hair was this short, you know? I am planning on just growing it out. Maybe get a perm so I don't have to like manually add texture. It'd be nice just to have a little something something because your girl is lacking in that department. But yeah, for now, whenever I have time, I just add a little bit of messy waves and it does the trick. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Castlery. Castlery is a modern furniture company and they use raw, high quality materials to create timeless pieces that are built for longevity and multi purpose use. Since they're a direct to consumer brand, they're able to extend honest pricing and affordability to their customers. They also offer free fabric swatches, 14 day return policy, flat rate shipping, and warranty coverage. If you guys want to check them out, the link will be down below. I'm going to go over the pieces that I pulled from my home, starting with these stools that I'm currently sitting on. Here we have the Able counter stools. These are very comfortable because the cushion is quite plush and the seats are in this beautiful top grain leather with wood legs and a metal frame. The Luca cabinet is probably my favorite piece. It's eye-catching, versatile. It's designed to provide storage throughout your home. The slatted doors are great for ventilation and it also features sliding doors, which I find extremely functional, especially if you plan on having this in a small confined space like a closet. Moving on to the bedroom, we have the Mika side table, which works really well as a nightstand. The cylindrical form adds a nice contrast to the rest of my furniture, which tends to be more structured and square. It has a beautiful walnut finish with two drawers for storage, both of which are soft closing. In the formal living room, I added the amber swivel chair. It has a curved back seat, which adds a subtle softness and elegance to the space. It features a 360 swivel and boucle upholstery, which adds some nice texture. And lastly, we're here in my office where we have the Esther bookshelf, which is great for displaying decor and objects. The bookshelf has a mixture of wood and marble shelving, which feels extremely high quality, and the framing is finished in brass. that completes all of the pieces. I am so happy with how everything looks in the space. Thank you to Castlery for gifting me these items and sponsoring this video. Again, if you guys are interested, I will link them down below, so be sure to check them out. My little pre-workout is quite subtle. It doesn't make me feel like super caffeinated. I don't crash. I'm gonna head to the gym now.
Today I'm in the valley. My friend Francis is hosting a girls' breakfast club. I thought that was really cute, and I get to see some girlfriends that I haven't seen in a while, so it should be a really good time. I skipped out on concealer today. I think I wanna skip concealer more because there's something about the way that concealer will make me look where it just feels a little bit too much. And I think just doing the CC cream gives you a really dewy, healthy finish and it really does look like it's skin. I find that if I do a little something every single day, it just gives me that little boost of confidence that I need to get my day going. It helps me feel more productive just looking a little put together. Today marks 21 days nicotine free. Crazy. These last few weeks have felt extremely slow. I know I talked about quitting nicotine at some point this year. Did not expect to do it this soon. It kind of just happened. One night I realized that it's never gonna feel like a good time and I just decided right then and there that it was now or never. So that night I left my vape in the car came inside. You might be thinking, wow, Sophie, you left your vape in the car, whoop de doo But you guys don't understand. My vape is like my third arm, okay? It is an extension of my body. So the fact that I left it in my car, came inside, you know, wasn't able to use it for the remainder of the night, it was a huge step. And to be honest, I thought that in a few days, I could probably break and end up at square one. But yeah, I've been going strong ever since. I don't even know what to say. I mean, it's been an emotional roller coaster ride. Every day, there's a new set of challenges. As soon as I start to think that things are getting easier, things come crashing down on me, and it feels like I'm on day two of quitting. I feel like I'm in a place in my life right now where there's so many things to be happy about so many things to look forward to, but as soon as I start to feel the withdrawals and the cravings, it just completely takes over me and I'm like having like a very depressive episode. And I just start to question like, why am I putting myself through this? When I was vaping, life was good. I was productive. I had something to look forward to every single day, but obviously I know that that's the withdrawal speaking and it's a very warped view of what happiness is because clearly um you know i've just become so dependent on this thing that i think that makes me happy but in reality it is destroying me it's gonna take some rewiring until i am able to think more clearly and rationally but i know that this version of sophie is not 
clear because obviously I'm still in the thick of it and I think it's gonna take another month, month and a half until I'm feeling a lot better. The biggest motivation and drive to continue is that I never wanna feel this again. This whole process of quitting and going through you know, this mental turmoil of emotions, that's enough motivation for me to keep going. For me, it's almost like speaking about it publicly and telling my family and friends that this is it. It's holding me accountable on another level because I just refuse to fail because my word is everything and I don't like to tell someone that I'm gonna do something and I don't follow through. Hopefully that helps you and hopefully this is just a good push and motivation for anyone else who is experiencing something similar. I believe in you. If I can do this, I really feel like anyone can do this. I would probably take a hit every 30 seconds and that has been my life for the last 12 years. So besides when I'm sleeping, working out or taking a shower. So that's very telling of how addicted I was. And that's why I'm telling you, if I can do it, you can do it. And I believe in you. So I hope that this inspires you to make some adjustments if needed to live a long, healthy, beautiful, fulfilling life. Thank you for being here. Love you guys. Bye.